so this is our example number two in example number two we are given four equations and these equations have four different unknowns and we have to find a solution and this example is example of infinite solutions because we will have some free variables so let's learn that what are free variables and how we can identify them in this example so we we'll start by converting this these equations into augmented matrix we can write them in three matrix form but I'm skipping that uh, to save some time. So we just convert them directly into augmented matrix form. So I have here 1, 1, 1, 1, and on the right hand side I have 6. Then I have here uh, 2, uh, 0, 1, 2, and right hand side I have 4. Please make sure that I'm not making any mistakes. And then I have if x is 0. So we have here 4, uh, x is 0, y is 2, z is 0, and then we have 8. Then we have here uh, 6, x is 0, y is 3, z is 6, and equals to 12. So we have our uh, augmented matrix form. Now we want to convert it into a row echelon form and we can also convert it to reduce row echelon form, yes? And does it always have to be y, x, y, no, adds up to x, y, z, can it be like that order here in the next line in a different order? So you, yeah, you can have order. different order in all the lines but when you are going to make augmented matrix then you have to basically fix the order. The first column must represent a first random variable, second we must represent second random variable. So this is this column is correspond to W. This column correspond to X. This column correspond to uh, Y. This column correspond to Z. So basically, if you have different order, you have to reorder them. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Good question. So this matrix is in an augmented matrix form, and now we want to convert into row echelon form. And for that, we need uh, if one is going to be our pivot, then all the entries below it must be equal to 0. So that means this must be equal to 0, this must be equal to 0, and this must be equal to 0. So in the, our next goal is to convert these three equals to 0. So let's do that. Uh, maybe I should write those operations first. So I say R2 is equals to what? Now I want to make this equals to 0 by using the first row. So uh, R2 is equal R2 to... Is Very good. R2 is equal to R2 uh, minus 2 R1. This is one operation. Second operation going to be R3 is equal to R3. Uh, it's equal to R3 minus 4 R1. Very good. So now I think you have you know what we are doing. Yes, very so R4 is equal to R4, R4 minus, minus 6 R1. 6 R1. So after these operations, we will have zeros here. So now let's do those operations. So we will have, I'm quickly going to write the first row because that row is not change, will not change. <coughs> now in the second row, I will have here, uh, I multiply this with two, so uh, this will equal to two minus two is going to be zero, and then I multiply this with minus two, so zero minus two is going to be minus two, uh, minus two, uh, uh, plus 1 is going to be uh, minus 1, minus 2 and minus 2 is going to be uh, 0 and then uh, minus 12 plus 4 is going to be, minus 12 plus 4 is going to be what? Minus, minus, um, min minus 8, okay. So now I'm going to multiply this row with minus 4 and then add my result with this row. So minus 4 plus 4 is going to be 0, minus 4 plus 0 is going to be minus 4, minus 4 uh, plus 2 is going to be minus 2, minus 4 plus 0 is going to be uh, minus 4, and uh, minus 24 plus 8 is going to be minus 16, I think minus 16 <clears throat> so if I'm going to make any mistake then 
my audience is going to get that mistake, so I'm not worried at all. So it's going to be, uh, I have to multiply this with 6 now. So minus 6 plus 6 is going to be 0. And minus 6 uh, plus 0 is going to be minus 6. Then minus 6 plus 3 is going to be minus 3. And minus 6 plus 6 is going to be 0. And minus 36 plus 12 is going to be what? Minus 36 plus 12 is going to be uh, 24. It's going to be minus 24. So <clears throat> we are done with our first column. In second column, we need a 0 here and 0 here. So let's continue to get a 0 here and 0 here. We're going to use this row. Can't use this row because this row has this one. And that's one going to appear on uh, these places and we don't want that. So we're going to use second row to make a zero in the third row of a second column and the fourth row a second column. So please help me writing those operations. So I say R3 is equals to R3. So I have here R3 because I'm going to make uh, this zero. So I'm say R3 is equals to R3. And then I have to multiply this row with something and then add or subtract here. Uh, please help me out. Uh, row, row, t, row 3 minus 2 row, row 2. Row 3. So that's fine. Similarly, uh, I have row, to... Uh, uh, one and will be plus because both are minus. So because I want to change the sign. So it's minus is correct. She is correct. Uh, okay, yeah. Right? So now... The, because when the signs are same, we do minus. When the signs are different, we do plus. Now, uh, R4 is equal to what? Can you write? R4. R4. Minus R3. Yeah. Row 2. Row 2. So now we have our, uh, this, these operations. Now let's perform these operations to make 0 and 0 here. So first, I can re quickly write a uh, first two rows because I'm not going to change these rows. And then I can write the last two rows. 1, 1, 1, and 6. And second row is going to be uh, 0, uh, minus 2, minus 1. Uh, oh, I think I have missed 1, 1, right? Yeah. So here I should have 1, 1. And they should have 0 and uh, minus 8. So I'm done with my second row. In the third row, I'm going to perform this operation. So I'm going to multiply this with 2 and subtract from here. So it's going to be plus 4, minus 4 is going to be 0. So now I have to have 0, 0. It's going to be uh, uh, plus uh, 2, minus 2 is going to be uh, 0. Uh, because I, when I multiply it with anything, it will remain 0. So it's going to be minus 4. And now I multiply this with, uh, it will become plus 16. And it is what? Minus 16. And plus 16 and minus 16 is going to be uh, 0. So now this row, uh, in this row, we will, uh, I will multiply this with 3, uh, uh, minus 3. So it's going to be plus 6 and minus 6. So this, they're both going to be 0. Now it's going to be, uh, once again, with 3, mi uh, minus 3. So plus 3 and minus 3 is going to be 0. And this is already 0. So 0 and both answer will be 0. Now I'm going to multiply this with 3. And so it's going to be plus 24, minus 24 is going to be 0. So is it in row echelon form? Uh, or I, should I do something else? So first condition is this, that all the zeros rows must be at the end. So zeros rows are at the end. So the first condition fulfills. The second condition is that the pivots, let's mark the pivots. We have pivot here, here, and here. And the pivot must be on the right-hand side of the pivot before it. So that this pivot must be on the right-hand side of 1. This pivot must be on the right-hand side of minus 2. So yeah, so it is in row echelon form. So now this is in row echelon form. Uh, because the both rules are fulfilled. 
And now we have to see if um, uh, uh, for what variables we can find the solution and what variable will be free variables. So this corresponds to x1. So because x1 has a pivot, so, so this corresponds to w, not x1, sorry, thank you very much. This corresponds to w, so w has a pivot, so w is not a free variable. Uh, this corresponds to x, so x is also not a free variable because x has a pivot. And then this corresponds to what? Uh, this corresponds to uh, z, so z also is not a free variable. So we have one free variable that has no pivot. So in case of free variable, so y is free variable. Free variable, free variable is a variable for which these equations say nothing and we can assume anything. So free variable is going to be y. So y can take any value. So we can say y can take any value. Let's say y is equals to s, which usually usually we make s is equal, or uh, free variable equals to one for simplicity. So let's say free variable is equals to one. So now we have already solution of y, which was our free variable. How do we because uh, we have pivot corresponding to all other variables. So we have pivot corresponding to w, we have pivot corresponding to x, we have pivot corresponding to z, but we don't have any pivot corresponding to y. So that means y is our free variable. Okay. Right? Now we'll start from the below. If we start from the, not from the, this row, because this row, we will, we will you know, because it has all zeros, we'll start from here. And this, this row is saying that uh, minus 4z equals to 0. That means that uh, minus, uh, that means that z is equals to zero. 0. So now we have solution of y, y is equals to 1 and z is equals to 0. So now we start from uh, this row and we say minus 2, minus 2, uh, what is this? This is uh, x minus 2x uh, minus uh, minus 1y, right, minus 1y is equals to minus 1, minus 8. And y we have selected to be equals to 1. So we can say minus 2x minus 1 is equals to minus 8. So it's going to be minus 2x uh, equals to uh, 1 will go there, so it will become minus 7. So x is going to equal to uh, be um, uh, 7 over 2. Uh, is it correct? Or I have made any mistake? It's correct? Oh, so my audience are saying that it is correct. So I will move forward. If I have made any mistake, then it's not my fault, it's fault of my audience. So now I have solution of x. Now w is uh, remaining, so say w plus x plus y plus z is equals to 6. So we know that we have to find w plus x value is 7 over 2 plus y value is 7 over 2 into decimal. No, 7 over 2 is like this is fine. We don't want to make it into decimal. That will just complicate things and we don't make things complicate. And z is going to be 0 uh, is equals to 6. So W is going to be, uh, because this is going to subtract from there, so 5 minus 7 over 2. 5 minus 7 over 2, so we get going to get uh, 10 minus 7 over 2 equals to uh, 3 over 2. So W is going four. to be uh, 3 over 2. No, 10 minus 7 is going to 3, right? Not 4, right? If I have made any mistake, or if it's yeah, correct. Three. So now we're going to find if our solution is correct or not. In order to verify our solution, we can take any of those equations and put our solution to find if our solution is correct. So let's use the second equation. We will just randomly select one equation. So the second equation is say 2w. So w is what? 3 over 2. So we get 2 times 3 over 2, the second equation, uh, plus y, what is y equals to? Uh, y equals to 1 plus 1 plus uh, 2 times z. What is z is? Uh, z is 0, so does not make any difference. Uh, 0 uh, must be equals to 4. And 
because this one, this one cancel from each other, so we get 3 plus 1 must be equal to 4, and yes, they are equal to this equation satisfied. So our answer is correct. And we can we can check other equations also. I hope can that. We check the first one? Okay, we can check the first one. So w is 3 over 2, so we get 3 over 2 here. So we get 3 over 2 here plus x is what? x is 7 over 2, we get 7 over 2 here plus y, one. y is 1 uh, plus 0 equals to 6. So they are going to be 7 plus 3 is going to be 10 over 2 which is equals to 5. So this is equals to 5 plus 1 is 6 uh, and five, 6 is equals to 6. So this question satisfied. Clapping for us. Okay. So that's it for this example. In the next example we will see that uh, what is the case when we have no solution. That means system of linear equations are inconsistent. So stay tuned.